What's new in the world, my people? My name is Cyblade, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. But we're not going back to Crash Bandicoot this time. We're moving on to the second game. Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Yeah, what he said. So, Crash 2 is... I mean, I've already played and beat it on this now, but... Oh, well, I'll talk about that after this. So, yeah, this picks up basically where the last game ended, or where it should have officially ended. Cor Crash just beat Cortex and stole his blimp. And this is where Cortex discovers the power crystals. So, yeah, one year later, he's got a space station, and now... We need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to Yeah, he got rid of Embryo and is now working with Engine instead. Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. I do have to say, they've done a great job making him more sinister looking and... Wait, what is this? Crash is being nice to his sister? That is... That's not an accurate sibling relationship. Me and my sister... Freaking hated each other for most of our lives. It used to always, back when she was taller than me, when we were younger, she always used to, you know, tease me and when I tried to fight back, I, she just put her hand on my head so I couldn't reach her. Oh yeah, never won, but until one day she was just sitting on the floor and I snuck up behind her and put her in a chokehold. And now I don't have a sister anymore. No, I'm lying. That's not true. I just choked her until she passed out. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Yeah, right? Why is Crash even bothering listening to you right now? Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. Well hidden. We will speak again. I'm gonna hold you to that. All right. Yeah, starting right off with the uh, special gems now. Yeah. Now some of these levels you will literally have to do twice. There is no way to earn the special gem in and the regular gem in some of these like this level you have to either not break all the boxes or break all the boxes to get the special gem and color and normal gem respectively i'll obviously be getting i just broke that first box so i'm obviously getting you know the normal gem i'll get this special one in my own time i won't just redo the level and make you guys watch through all that again. So. so yeah, this is the game I'm least familiar with in the series, like I said, in the first, very first Crash gameplay I did. My family owned, you know, Crash Warped, or Crash 3, and one of our neighbors owned Crash 1 that we played a few times with them. We never played Crash 2 basically until until this actually. Ah crap. Yeah. Oh no! Well good thing that checkpoint was there. And good thing is not just 
get the crystal or get all the boxes without dying now they finally I mean there are still death doors later on but there more no ah crap I don't know what I was thinking either of those times actually And I've only actually beaten this uh, once now. I beat it the first time on my own, then when my nephew came down for the summer, I played it with him, but uh, we never got too far because he only, really only wanted to play Crash 1 or Crash 3. He wasn't too interested in 2. I don't know why, but oh well. Ah, nice try it, birdies. So yeah, you, you gotta jump off those birds real quick and in order to get the um, get to the platform floating there that because if they crouch down then you would have wouldn't be able to reach it and yeah wouldn't be able to get all the boxes fortunately I've discovered a secret it doesn't work all the time but for the times when you need extra height in these games that you can't get from a regular jump. I've discovered that either sliding and jumping, well, yeah, sliding and jumping gives you extra height and distance, and slamming like that will give you just the ever slightest extra little bit of air but that's so, that might be just what you need or all you need sometimes just that extra little hop good to go. know ah Aha, there we go, see? Should have needed the turtle, but I still made it, got it without him. That's some skills. Oh, hey, Cortex, I thought you said these crystals were well hidden. Um, I'm going to have to disagree on that. It's just sitting right here in the middle of the... That was a ridiculous coincidence how easily that was. I could just happen to land on some of the moles popping up. Crash, you really need to figure out better places for those crystals and gems. Uh oh. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. I don't know why, though. To maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Why didn't you say that the first time? Oh, hey, Coco. Are you there, Crash? Wow, thanks for that useful information, Coco. Ah, give me the Wumpers. I 
I always wondered when I was a kid if Wumpa Fruit were actually real fruits, but no, they are not. Missed the slide ability playing Crash 1. You really take some powers for granted, but you. But when you play a game that they're not in, you wind up missing them. Hey, the spinning's my thing, buddy. I'm not your buddy friend. Get out of here. Now what ancient culture built that death trap? And why? I mean, come on, seriously. Again, I'm assuming that, you know, this is a thing that their average everyday people have to go through, so... Why? It just seems like more of a hazard for, your, for yourselves than any possible intruders. Oh no! So, you guys also probably noticed now that... There's those green boxes, the nitro crates, that uh, weren't in the first game. They added them to the- No! So they added them in Crash 2 for a little added difficulty. I mean, not too difficult, just stay away from them and you'll be fine, but... No! No! Come on! Oh, come on! Yes, that's the big difference between uh, Crash and Spyro in terms of platforming. I mean, obviously they're two very different games in terms of like the basic elements, but... Yeah, they're both essentially platformer games, but... You know, while Spyro's a dragon that can glide and, you know, recover from a lot of these... ...miss... Uh, yeah, missed falls or missteps. Crash is basically, you screw up and you're dead. Nice, another crystal. So well hidden, Cortex. Sometimes you really gotta question, like, if this guy even knows what he's talking about half the time. Oh, come on! Ah, <sighs> oh, dang it, no. Ah. No. Could have sworn that this is one of the levels that you couldn't get all the gems in the first time. Like, you know, there's an extra path, but... You must be thinking of another one. A hidden path elsewhere for the red gem. Seriously, Crash, there is no way you, your body is okay with just the places you put these. So, you are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> I've acquired well, two now, but <laughs> this guy always seemed like you are allied with Cortex. You are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. 
<laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. <laughs> I think those bolts are going through his brain. People, people. <laughs> they thought I needed an extra platform. Foolish game. <sighs> Be gone. Now that I have the... Slide ability, those plants are a lot less concerning than they were in Crash 1. Ah, yeah, I was gonna say that it says, you know, gives you the directions there, boost and then everything, but really the boost is only good for like. Whoa! Yikes. I would say it's only good for getting away from the, uh... Ah, too late, I mean. Now I ain't getting the gem there. Be gone. Uh oh. Sorry, Crash. I also forgot. Oh. oh, I made that. Okay, no, I didn't. Oh, come on. Really? Reach the end before that timer runs out. Oh, come on. <sighs> Forget it, I don't even think there's anything up there, so yeah, just smash the boxes and jump over. Bingo. Alright. Went from 23 boxes to 27. That's a great jump. Break the lock boxes with a body slam. So, yeah. It's not just another clever little Ah, uh, come on! Ah... Uh, so, uh, I know we kind of moved past this now, but I gotta say, you know, the embryo, his argument ain't too solid. You know, Cortex at least said, hey, if I found a threat to the world we gotta deal with, for, give me the crystals to stop it. Embryo just like, Give me these gems and I'll make a laser to blow up Cortex. 
who, for as far as we know right now, or, well, I mean, we know he's gonna screw Crash over anyways, he's... Crash is his only real option for getting the gem, that's the only reason he's involved. What have we got? But, yeah. So anyways, as far as Crash knows, Cortex is the only hope for saving the world, so, yeah. Building a laser to destroy the only guy that can save the world? In the words of uh, Tony Stark... Not a great plan. Oh, come Really? Okay, good. The enemies don't respawn. Of course, that uh, couldn't be a problem if you didn't kill the enemies the first time. Or I guess they do respawn! What the Man, that is incredibly convenient. Ah, yes, the locked boxes we've heard so much about. So, yeah. Just get rid of them with a slam, easy peasy. And the slide apparently defies physics, as you can jump while you're in like midair after a slide. So again, helps to get even further through the, uh, you no, know, even more distance. But hey, whatever helps us cheat the game is all right with me. Hey. Uh oh. Popping up like weeds. I don't know why I thought that made that would be a good joke, but oh no, this is gonna be another run towards the screen mission. Dang it. One part of the game nobody would have missed if it's gone, but the developers, developers certainly didn't miss their chance to screw with us some more. Oh good, so oh, good. Oh come on! Still so well hidden, Cortex. Ah, uh, I didn't say that in the last couple levels, did I? So, yeah, I didn't hold it to hold him to it as well as I planned to, but I think we can all agree these crystals are not very well hidden. Cortex 
along with all your list of horrible negligence and workers comp violations another crime you are oh no 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 please no ah the slide has betrayed me why slide Oh, come on! Uh, no! Oh, man, that might cost me a life. No! Oh, come on! Bring back old man Logan, because this is not okay! Alright, there we go. Uh. Thought I jumped in already. Alright, yeah, get to the point. So, Ripperoo has discovered the most dangerous weapon in the Crash universe. A pogo stick. somehow deploys TNT mines and nitro mines with his, I don't know how, but... So yeah, clearly we discovered that uh, nitro boxes are more powerful than the regular TNT because they stun Ripper and allows us to hit him, so... Oh god. Oh, just... Uh, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, somebody help me. Uh, no, no, no! Oh. So I see all that higher learning really didn't pay off much for him. Come on, Crash, bounce on him for just for giggles, come on. I guess Crash is a little less sadistic in this game than he was with, you know, Papu Papu. Jumping on his head multiple times, no doubt gave him a concussion, knocked him out, then... Just for giggles, jumped on his belly a few times and jumped and destroyed his roof. So... Oh well. So that's where we're leaving it for this time, Crash 2. Cortex strikes back. So far, Cortex ain't doing much striking back, because remember, Cortex is relying on us for this one, so title's kind of poorly named. But anyways, I hope all you guys enjoyed this. If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and slash that. Oh, Crash, that was some good moves by screwing up my outro. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this and want to... If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and slash that subscribe button. If you like this video, give a quick cut to the like button. Share it around with all your... Leave a comment down below. Share it around with all your friends. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook. And I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, my people, stay sharp. Oh, and Merry Christmas.